So my dad and mother came to Canada in 1924 with a bunch of other Mennonites. They were not permitted to come into southern Ontario. They had to either go into the northern Ontario to the mines, the bush, or the prairie provinces. So my dad and mom and some of my uncles and aunts went to Manitoba. For three years they had to be in the north or in the west. After that they could go anywhere they wanted. That was the condition that Ottawa put on them. So my dad and mom were in Manitoba, St. Anne's, Manitoba. Three crop failures in a row. And in 1927, 24, 25, 26, 27, they spent the three years out west. They came back to Ontario. And uh, my dad got a job in Dominion Glass in Hamilton. Dominion Glass made these sealers. My father was very familiar with glass, making glass, because my grandfather had a glass factory. And he made all the beer bottles for the Mennonite brewing industry in southern Russia. Okay? So he knew the glass business and he had a job there in Hamilton. And then 1929 came along. The Big Depression. So in 1930 he's out of a job. Everything is closing up. And in Canada, like the rest of the world, there were no safety nets in those days. There was no such thing as relief or workman's compensation or anything of that nature. So anyway, he came to Canada. He came to Ontario. You know, he's out of work. He had a little bit of money saved up. And he's in the Vineland area. There were Mennonites that moved here in this area in 1790. The Rittenhouses, Fretz, Culp, Shanks, Hayes, Butler, Butler's Rank, Butler was Mennonite, Snyder, those are all Empire Loyalists. Okay, they're, but they're Mennonites. So anyway, uh, he's uh, looking to see what these Mennonites in Vineland are doing these first Mennonites that were here already a long time. And they're all in the farming business and they're growing peaches and they've got no trouble selling peaches even in the Depression days. 